This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Libra from November 5th to November 19th, 2021. Before we get to it, that blue pulsing light behind me, that's a spirit communication device, like the ones that they use on those ghost hunting shows. So I'm using it as a way for spirits to communicate their higher viewpoints. So if they agree with something I'm saying, it goes green. If they don't agree with something I'm saying, it goes red. All right, let's get to it. What do we got going on for you in the next two weeks? Six of Cups. Four of Swords. And the King of Pentacles. Right now, you are very much... You're, you're in this element where you're very influential. King of Pentacles is it's that energy of someone that has the status, someone that knows how to influence people to get what they want. But this is in terms of someone from your past, someone that <laughs> it seems like there, there's a break in, in you both being transparent to one another. And that, that's what's needed here. There, there's some healing that needs to take place. But there was, it's funny, it's its kind of like there was a very beautiful moment between you and this person that it, it shouldn't need healing, but there's a need for you both to be apart. Something to do with you being in that element of influencing them in the right way. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles. For them, sincerity. For you, helpfulness. Yeah, it's like you're finding the right words to, to help heal the, this connection. This person is seeing you being very sincere. Oh, this person is needing you to, it went red, so that, that's not exactly it. This person needs you to, to, to be sincere towards them for this healing to take place. So it's like you're influencing this person with some form of sincerity. And it's, it's making this past situation with them seem more beautiful somehow. Healing is taking place. Hmm. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see, see if they give some more insight. First question, is there anything from a past life influencing your love interest feelings towards you? Hmm. I don't get that question very often. It's mostly your feelings towards your love interest. But this goes the other way around. These are all random generated. So is there twin flame indicator that this could be a past life connection? Like that there's a confirmation that this is a past life connection. So is there anything from a past life influencing your love interest feelings towards you? Hmm, five of wands. Page of Wands, and the Two of Cups. You were in a partnership with this person. You were in a relationship. Two of Wands, Two of Cups, partnership, relationship. You were with them in the past life. However, they were really combative. It's, it's like they couldn't it's like you couldn't come together on on a higher higher purpose like, like they didn't want to take the risk on something that you wanted to take a risk on 
Let's clarify this. This five of wands. For them, ties. For you, keychain. Yeah, you, you tried to get this person on board, like tried to get them to come out of their element, but th this person seemed to be, it, it's like they, they couldn't see the higher purpose or perhaps this higher purpose, this, this, this thing that you wanted to strive for seems so out of reach to them. Ah, oh, green light. Yeah, so the spirits agree. It was something that, that seemed too big for them to comprehend. Like you couldn't, you couldn't make them see things your way. You are in a very powerful position in this life. You know how to influence people. This past life karma may be resolved, but there is an element of healing that needs to take place here. Something that, that, that I feel this is twin flame energy. I feel that this is something that you come together on to pursue each life, but for some reason in the past life, whatever happened to this person led them astray. The snake, I never noticed that snake before. Hmm. So in this life, you are in the right elements to get them to come along with you. What will happen if you reach out to this love interest in the next two weeks? Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. <laughs> the Queen of Cups. You want to do this. Like your heart is for this person. You're devoted. In my head, I said devotion. The green light went off. It's you want them. But this person seems to have too much going on to really put the focus that's needed into, into making this grow. It's kind of like you, you need to, to wait a little bit here. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the seven of cups. What is on their mind? Like what's going on for them? Merits. For you, perfection. This person doesn't feel, that's why, what's, that's what's dragging this person down. It's this past life thing where they weren't ready for something in the past life or, or something didn't work out and they blame themselves. This time they want to be ready and they want to be perfect for you. There's something that they want to achieve here at this time before this can come into fruition these next two weeks it's, it's it's not the time to be reaching out they still need to to prove themselves perhaps if only to themselves they just they need to feel like they're perfect they don't want perhaps subconsciously they don't want to repeat the same pattern as was repeated in the past life because it's kind of like they were holding holding you back in a past life. You are devoted to them. Like th this, is, this is who you feel your heart belongs to. What is a message for your highest good? Queen of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Two Queens. There's an element here where you almost have to leave this person out in the cold. Because they, they do want some sort of... They want some sort of invitation. If only to feel like... 
if only to, to, to make them feel that you're interested in them. But right here, it's kind of like you're you're focusing on something else. Like there's something else that needs your attention here in these next two weeks. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords. For them, loyalty. Queen of Swords is very loyal. For you, diligence. There's something that you're working on. Something that demands your focus, but doesn't take away from your loyalty. So it's not like you're putting your focus into somebody else. It's just something else that you need to complete here. You need to do. And whatever that is, that that's what's influencing this person. Because they're realizing they're waiting to hear from you, but you're leaving them out in the cold. They're realizing that they are loyal to you as well. Perhaps this healing, this separation needs to take place for them to to realize how much they want you. In the extended, we'll look into, I just read the first question, what type of transformation is your love interest going through? We'll ask, what's the most likely outcome for this connection at this time in the next two weeks? What kind of energy is being created in this connection in the next two weeks? So we'll get some more confirmation with those last two questions. And we'll ask, what do you have to look forward to in this connection? Hmm. The link for the extended is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best with your choices. Much love.